Hi, we're going to take a quick look at an InDesign CS5 feature with the ability to put in a headline and span three columns in this case. It's called a straddle headline. And also what we'll do is with this text frame of these recipes is we're going to balance out the um, column links on this frame. First thing I've clicked in front of the uh, words over here called Caesar salad. And I'm going to type in try it today. I'm going to hit a return. I'm going to go back to that paragraph called Try It Today. I'm going to apply a paragraph style I've already built called Recipe Box Headline. Basically changes the color and then just centers it above that column. Now what I'd like to do is have this headline span those three columns of this frame. So I'm going to come over to my paragraph panel. I'm going to click on my pop-out menu here and I'm going to come down to Span Columns. Here I'm going to make sure previews on. I'm just going to change the layout from single column to span columns. And automatically it will center this headline above those three columns. And I have some other options here. I can change the space before and the number of columns. But this gives you a basic understanding that you can quickly apply this span column feature to a paragraph. To finish up on this, I'm just going to align my text within this frame. I'm actually going to balance the columns. So I'm going to go up to my favorite menu in InDesign, which is under the Object menu. It's called Text Frame Options. Here I'm going to make sure Preview's on so you can see it. And I'm going to come up at the top up here, and here's a little item called Balance Columns. I'm just going to click on that. Automatically it looks at the text in those three columns and balancing them out and things look pretty good. So there's our tip today. Uh, setting up what's called a headline that straddles across the columns and then also setting up balance columns within the text frame options.